Children's participation in development has often been downplayed by society in some cases have their rights violated. One such violated right in most cases is right to education and further this deprives children of the much needed personal development. However, with the construction and upgrading of schools across the country, the Ministry of Education is confident that every child will have access to education. Speaking during a stakeholder engagement on the rights of a child, Livingstone District Education Board Standards Officer Jaffa Malao says the district is doing everything possible to ensure that every child has access to education. And I'm sure the government is also on course to ensure that uh, your rights become reality. For example, rise to school, the government is trying by all means to build as many schools as possible, as well as upgrading some primary schools into secondary schools in order to meet you're right. During the engagement, children had an opportunity to ask on issues affecting them. Every organization that, that is coming in, it's only supporting a girl child, but not a boy child. Why? Um, according to, I want to ask according to the ask girls, if a girl is impregnated by the other pupil who is at school, now if she goes for on leave, does the boy child do so or what, is, what does the boy do? Officials from Social Warfare, Drug Enforcement Commission and Judiciary were on hand to address some of the concerns. So they should, you boys, you should learn that it's an offense to impregnate a girl. Right? That is why we are encouraging the both of you to avoid having sexual, uh, uh, premature sexual activities. We call them premature, premature sexual activities because you are doing them at the wrong time. At this time, that particular time when you are in school, you are supposed to concentrate with your education. It does not go along with the, sex, the sexual activities. So it becomes premature because it's not, your, it's not the right time and it's not the right age. And these sensitizations include in communities, workplaces, and also in institutions of learning. So the street kids are not left out as well. We do sensitize to them as well. Also offering counseling services to them. And Children in Need Network Executive Director Beston Banda says children involvement in national issues is key. This public hearing has made us realize that actually children can be very good advocates because you realize that when they learn things and they, children are so eager to learn and we have seen that the questions they've been asking are so important even for them and uh, looking at issues of children's rights the children are so excited to learn about those and we know that they are also going to teach other children what they have learned. With such platforms, it is expected that children will air out issues affecting them. Muya Mukombuta, Movie TV News, Livingstone.